Dar so FA Cup action this weekend against Hartley Whitney. Um, how has training been leading up to the game? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's been um, pretty bright and breezy today. Um, and we look forward to the game. And obviously, it's the first week where we've been able to do sort of full training where we've been Saturday, Tuesday. Has that been quite beneficial for the players going into the game? Yeah, we're fine now Saturday. I think it was nice to have a bit of a break from, from the games, obviously, because of the amount of injuries we've had, the same people have had to play a lot of games in a short amount of time, which is uh, difficult to do it, you know, when you, when you come off the back of lockdown and you go straight into a games programme like this and you can't really rotate your squad because we, haven't, we didn't have enough to fill the bench, obviously, on Saturday. So it was nice to give, have to give the lads a little bit of a breather this week on that and we look forward to Saturday now. And obviously the FA Cup, a special competition for anybody that's been involved with it. For yourself, sort of as a player, as a manager, do you have any sort of special memories of, of the FA Cup? Um, at Orient in 05, 06, the year we won promotion from League 2 to League 1, we beat Fulham at Fulham when they were a Premier League team in the third round. Um, and then we went out in the fourth round at Charlton, obviously a Premier League team at the time as well. I think 3-2 or 4-3, I can't remember, but we had a, we had a decent run. Um, it's probably the best as a player. As a manager, we got beat in the second round at Ebbsfleet by Doncaster, the League One team at the time. Um, other than that, not really. And it's a competition, you know, that can throw up those sort of surprises, isn't it? And I mean, we've got to be careful on Saturday that Hartley Whitney, they've got, they're coming in, you know, everything to play for. Right? Yeah, I think in football, it doesn't matter who you play against, anyone can beat anyone on any given day, on, on a day. You know, the, the best teams are the best teams across the period of a season normally come out on top, but on any day, anybody can beat anybody, and we've, we've got to be well aware of that. And um, They've got some players that I know well that I've played against when I was a player as well, so got, I've got some decent players in, the, in their squad. Um, but we've got to look at what we're doing and make sure we're, we're, doing, it, we're doing the business right at our end. And that's right, if we do do the business, there's a chance to draw quite a big team in the, in the first round, isn't it? Yeah, listen, we've got to get through Saturday first and we're fully focused on that. It's the most important thing to go and put a good performance on and try and get the win. And injury wise, I know you sort of mentioned it there. Obviously, don't want to give too much away, but how have sort of those injured players been doing? Yeah, two or three are progressing well. Um, we're still going to be without quite a few. Um, there's no getting away from that. Um, we'll see as we get closer to Saturday, but I, I don't envisage many being back for, for this weekend.